I refuse to let the sun set on America! My name is Fred Barish, and I believe in the United States of America. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way. But America has lost her way, and everybody knows it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. It's just Frank Barris trying to get to the beach. That's all this is. Don't you worry about me. I'll find it. Don't you worry about me, folks. I will find this beach one way or another. Tell you what, Frank Barris is running for America from sea into shining sea. Let's make some beach speeches, shall we? I've been looking for the home of the brave. I finally found the home of the brave. What's up? You guys have a great business name. I'm just giving you, I'm running for president. Okay. And I always leave off the last word when I sing the Star Spangled Banner. And then I saw your sign and I had to give you a card because that's, because maybe there is bravery somewhere in this country. Magfo, make America great for once. That's how, that's how you run for president right there, my friend. How you do it? The dream has become a nightmare, and it's time to wake up. It's sandy over here, but that's not the beach. Well, I've got a mouthful of sawdust, but it was worth it, because I campaigned in the home of the brave. Magfo! We elect Republicans, and things get worse. We let Democrats and things get worse. My name is Frank Barrett and I am independent. The only party I care about is my inauguration day party. That's right, folks. I am running for president of these United States. Hold your applause. Thank you. You know what I mean? I think you have to uh, admit that you are really Louis C.K. pranking me right now. No, no, no. Okay. You're Sorry. Louis C.K. Come on, bro. Uh, I, I, you are I Louis C.K. Bought, right now. I accidentally forgot the password, so I'm trying to see if there's some way to like do a factory reset on it. You're anyway. Louis C.K. I think we could all agree the world would be a better place if America had elected me in 2020. Or in 2016. I don't know what that means. You, yeah, He's a comedian, you, right? Yeah, you know what it means. You know so, you look like him. Yeah, you know what it means. Bro, when you're not undercover, you people tell you look that just like him all the time. Bro, when you're not undercover, you people tell you look that just like him all the time. Right? When you're not undercover. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So you don't. You 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 know some Android devices you can do like a manual reset or something. I don't know if I don't. With like the keys or whatever. I wish you all the best of luck though. Okay, never mind. All Good right. luck. Yeah. Good luck, Louie. Okay. Good luck, Louie. Yeah. I believe in you. Stay away from potted plants. A 27 actually at the bus stop. So is the strike over? Yeah. Yeah, you guys get what you wanted or close? <laughs> Enough to be back at work, right? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're back, man. I never rode these. I would never cross a picket line. I didn't ride them while it was down. Yeah. Have a good day. Second Amendment, including those two words that are invisible to conservatives, well regulated. And on my first day in office, I will end war! Turns out we've been doing most of it around the world. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I think I found the ocean, oh yeah. Guess what I found? There it is. And the waves are angry at America. You can tell the ocean is angry at what America is doing to the world. And Frank Barris is going to fix that, folks. 
But to achieve world peace, I'm going to need you, America. I'm going to need you to write in Frank Barrett's on Election Day. I'm going to need you to get your friends to write in Frank Barrett's on Election Day. And they have to get their friends to write in Frank Barrett's on Election Day. And if we all come together as a nation, we can have my inauguration. And I can finally do something about this darn inflation. I will now take questions. Any questions? You don't have to be American. Anyone can ask me. Any questions? Who told you to run for president, Frank? That's a good question. The Lord told me to run for president. And I have it on video. I'm hoping they can no, yeah, no, I was just, I'm wondering what's taking him so long. I'm on the front of the street. Any other questions? Come on, if you could ask a presidential candidate a question, what would you ask? He's safe. All right, no questions. I believe that means you all are going to vote for Frank Barris, and I appreciate it. But the sun will not set on America. Not under my watch. Frank Barish. I was hoping they'd applaud so I could sub that onto my footage, but everyone just kind of, hey look, it's, it's the everywhere guy. It's the everywhere guy. And his. Mindswell Films, look it up on uh, YouTube. Thank you for your support, sir. And I take your silence and support as well, and I appreciate it. That silent majority right here. They all want Frank Barry as he tries to get his cart out of here. Oh. And uh, good speech, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, no, thank you. Thank you. Just keep holding that applause. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Thank you, America. Thank you, America. America. Thank you, too, America. Thank you. Now that an exhaustive, peer reviewed, scientific study by an expert in the field has proven that building seven collapsed because of the structural failure of virtually every building column not caused by the fire of the twin towers that building housed nypd headquarters fbi headquarters etc how did it get rigged with explosives there's only one answer, folks. 9-11 was an inside job! I will run through the fire for you, America, here at the beach, doing the beach speeches. No, I'm not on fire. I'm in Pacific Beach. And you're not gonna believe this, but literally as I get to the bus stop, the tire finally dies, and now this thing is just about to collapse. That's, it, it, it got me where I needed to go. Thank you. Thank you, Beach. Thank you, guy at the bus stop who's way too interested in what I'm doing and now isn't. There he is. Yeah, no. I'm gonna get to this beach though, I tell you, I tell you what. You will not be able to stay home, brother. Everybody knows it.